To make art with music, what I'd like to do first is to create my own scale. I'm calling my scale quote unquote Fibonacci scale that is based on the sequential Fibonacci numbers. Fibonacci was named after Italian mathematician Leonardo Fibonacci or Leonardo of Pisa in the 13th century. Although the sequence had been described seven centuries earlier in Indian mathematics, in 1202, Fibonacci wrote a hugely influential book, called Liber Abaki, Book of Calculation, in which he promoted the use of the Hindu-Arabic numeral system in the West. For those who may not know what Fibonacci numbers are, let me illustrate here. If we draw a square of one by one unit, and add another square adjacent to one side, we get two squares. We can then draw a square of two by two units on the side, and then a three by three square, and then a five by five square, and then an eight by eight square. We can keep going on and on forever. We can see that the subsequent number is the sum of the previous two numbers. If we draw a curved line connecting the corners of the squares, we will get a uniform spiral. We find the Fibonacci spiral in nature as well, like in the shell of the chambered nautilus. In the spiral arrangement of the seeds in the center of a sunflower. In pine cones, pineapples, flower petals, and in some leaves on trees. The Fibonacci numbers are also the basis of the golden ratio, or the divine ratio, that is widely used in photography, cinematography, sculpture, architecture, and so on. Certainly, it's one of the greatest wonders of creation. There is a belief among some mathematicians that God himself must be a mathematician. They say that God used advanced mathematics in constructing the universe. I'll continue next. I'll continue next time. I'll continue next time.